And this is the topic of today's video. Enablers. Enablers are not your friends. They're your enemies. My name is Sam Vaknin. I'm the author of Malignant Self-Love, Narcissism Revisited, and I'm a professor of psychology, believe it or not. <laughs> As I said, enablers are often mistaken for friends, when in reality, enablers are your worst enemies. Enablers encourage your self-destructive behaviors. Enablers aid and abet your suffering. Enablers amplify any self-harm or self-harming conduct. Enablers are there to participate in your self-defeat and self-destruction, to egg you on, to provide you with the tools and instrument of your self-annihilation. A true friend would never hand you a loaded gun knowing that you may be suicidal. But an enabler would do exactly this. An enabler would have sex with your girlfriend at your request, aware all the time that this will cause you excruciating pain. An enabler would ply their alcoholic or junkie friend with drinks or drugs. An enabler would encourage a shopaholic to shop even more, would encourage an a workaholic to work even more. An enabler would go on retail therapy sprees with a shopaholic. An enabler would induct you into, into bed company, hoping for the worst outcomes. Beware the enabler. Enablers are charming. They're smiling. They're solicitous. They're intelligent. They pose as your best friends. They bring you anything and everything you want. You want alcohol? It's there. You want drugs? It's there. You want them to have sex with your girlfriend? They oblige. They're always at your beck and call. They're always available. They're always there to cater to your needs, especially uh, expressed needs. But they're snakes in your grass. They're dangerous people, unbounded, mentally ill. People who derive pleasure from inflicting pain. Enablers are actually sadists. You have been warned.